ready? Yeah, I think so. Let's, you got uh, your cricket box? I got a cricket box. See you want bigger than that. Bigger than that? I think worms eat their, eat their way out of that. Really? I got worms bigger than that. <laughs> Jeez, man, it's the only cricket box I got. No, nah, that'd be fine. Yeah, we don't need I that. Figure what we do is get a bunch and uh, transfer. You got some trees that ain't producing. We can put some on there. Yes, 100%. And then they'll crawl down and eat. Next year, you'll have the tall worms. Yeah, that's true. You know how to spell it? No. <laughs> is it G or C? It actually is C, but everybody, I Catawba. call it Catawba, but yeah. it's actually Catalpa. Catalpa? C-A-T-P-A-L-T-A. Oh, God. I guess that's an Indian Cat word. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. You ever, you ever heard of that before, Ben? Nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. It means catch, heat, big fish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. So here's what we got going on today. So as you guys know, we live out in rural Southeast Alabama. We're talking about rural, out in the middle of the woods. One thing I love about living out here, besides the, the privacy, the peace and quiet, Charlie can run free, little badges can run free wherever <laughs> they want to. That's right. But one thing I really love about living out here is the wildlife. And I'm not just talking about the, the stuff you always think of, like deer and you know fishing. I'm talking about there are certain trees Okay, and they're, they're, I'm not sure how rare they are. We're gonna let Daryl, the next door neighbor, break it down a little bit more because he knows more about it than I do, but it seems like these trees are kinda rare, but when you find one in a certain time of year during the summertime, these worms or these caterpillars, these giant things, they're black, they're, they got a crazy neon stripe down the side of them, they come out of nowhere, and, and they're there for a few days only. But the thing about these worms are, they're excellent fish bait. So people actually take these things and freeze them, put them in their freezer, like they'll collect all of them and use them throughout the year as, you know, catfish bait, brim bait, you know, what, whatever you wanna catch them. I'm sure bass eat them too. But now, here's the thing. We have a couple trees on my property, but here's the problem. They're not producing, the, wor the worms aren't getting to them. I don't know how they get there, but they're not there yet. Right down the road, one of our neighbors has a tree, and it's infested with these worms. I'm not even sure how to pronounce the word. We're gonna ride over there right now, let Daryl break it down for us, but we kind of have to hurry because these things are only there for a couple days out of the year. So we have to get them now. We may relocate some to my trees to kind of maybe see if they'll take hold, but we're also gonna see if we can fish and catch some fish in the backyard pond with these crazy little caterpillar worms. Before we get going, guys, remember we are on the road to 1 million subscribers. Make sure you hit that red button right below the video. Click it, make it turn gray, enable the bell notifications. That way you guys don't miss an upload, you don't miss a giveaway, or you don't miss a crazy fishing video like this where we have freaking crazy worms that they, I think they like, they like spit some kind of radioactive goo at you when you try to pick them up. It's, it's cra The story on these worms is crazy. We need to see some to actually get the full effect. Let's ride down the road and see if we can find some. They actually call it, one of the nicknames for that tree is called a fish bait tree. Really? Yep. Wow. So that tells you how value. And there's actually a company they set out there called Catawba, C-A-T-A-W-B-A, -A -A, which is probably a different Indian tribe spelling of the name, that mm. gold, it actually freezes them and sells them. Wow, that's freaking crazy. Google Squad can start picking guitar worms and selling them. I think we should do that, Badge. Yeah. I think we should like get, like we do with the Googies, well, the live bait worms. <laughs> I need to go by the house first. I got some beetle spins yeah. that are colored just like guitar worms. Really? I ought to get one of them and we can hold yeah. it up and show yeah. it. Yeah. You run by there, yeah, I'm yeah. sure I got some. You know that color he's talking about, Badge? The, the beetle spin, like the black with the green line on it? I and think someone, so. And someone has green dots. They claim some of these Catawba worms have green dots on them. I've never seen them. But that's what the, these beetle spinners are trying to imitate, these little worms that we're about to harvest today. They're actually big worms. Got a bunch of rain. Yeah, and this grass uh, choked out my uh, brown top. Got like looking around for me. Like, where is he? Where is he? Yeah, wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> that's Shut up. Shut up. Get out of my bed. <laughs> so you don't live around Mega, Mega licking your damn ear. Oh my God. I think you saw one of these. Yes, I got it somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, I do. That yeah, one, yeah. that one right there. Look at that. That's a Catawba worm. Wow, so they look kind of very similar to that. Well, some of them, are, they're that long when they're small and they're about twice that big when they get big. But that's the Catawba worm. Well, I call it Catawba. Catawba. 
<laughs> We're gonna have to look this up. We should put it on the screen. I gotta actually spell it. Katump, Katump. Gotta give away a prize for anybody that learns how to spell it. Yeah, we'll get. But, we'll just send you some Catawba worms to your house. Mm. We'll just mail some. to <laughs> you some freeze dried Catawba worms. They'll be dried. Yeah, they'll be dried. By how far away you live. <laughs> I've seen this color before, so it's so crazy. It's actually based on a real thing that grows in nature. That yeah. color right there. Yeah, that's so cool. Look at that. Now this has got the fork and tail because it's the bigger beetle spin. Yeah. And they claim there's something. Well, look at that. I had an open pack right there. And this, I guess, is the opposite. This, yeah. this is one of them ones that have uh, dyslexia. <laughs> that looks more like a like a normal caterpillar right there. But those, the, I always wonder when you see those black beetle spins with the with that neon little line. I always wonder like what is that trying to imitate? But now today we finally have the answer. Oh, oh, that's so close to getting ran over. Is that it right there? Yeah, it's the tree. You see how all the leaves are disappearing now? I'll have Daryl explain it more, but they, these little jokers, man, they eat. They eat, 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 and they're just gone after like three or four days. Yeah, that's what the, that's what the leaves look like. It really, it's a really beautiful little tree. <laughs> Damn you, dogs. <laughs> this is a Catawba. Catawba tree. Catawba, AKA Catawba, or whatever you want to call it. But. People in Northwest Florida call them a good tobble. Where it got the G from, it's kind of like people call it Walmart. Oh, God, there's one right there. There sure is. Jesus. What the heck? I flipped, I flipped the, the, the leaf over. I didn't even Look, know. There's another one. So they fixed to hit this tree mix. Oh so by, by the end of this weekend, yeah. this one probably loaded with it. Look at that little guy. And this one's already had worms on it once, he said. Yeah. So oh this is the second gosh. one. What the heck? You going to touch it, Badge? Dude, I get him one of them big ones. It supposedly spits at you when yeah, you grab it. Yeah, spit is highly poisonous. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's how you tell a male from a female, he said. Oh, yeah? The yeah. ones that spit? The ones that spit are highly poisonous. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yoinks. But you see the back on this one, young? I don't know if that's because he's younger. But he's got black and white with a... Yeah, he looks, he looks a little different. He's, yeah, he's colored a little different. Wow. Where the ones on the other tree are, are different. But this one here is, is the second time the leaves have come out. And they'll make a little flower. And that's what the moth that makes these is called a sphinx moth. Yeah. And it makes a little flower. And they come in there and pollinate the flowers. They lay their eggs. And the wow. worm hatches. Oh, there's another one up there. Get up there, dude. <laughs> Jump yeah. up there and grab it. Well, this tree over here has got the grown ones on it. Yeah, this. Look at, but you can tell. Look at the difference of the trees. Look how like this one is missing half of its leaves. That's because these jokers are eating good right now. Oh, dude, look at these. Oh my! God. Look at those donkeys right there. I got ants just tearing me up right now. Yeah. I don't know where I found them. Oh, you're about to step. In oh, oh, gotcha. Oh, oh, you got a big one. Well, we'll yeah, we there's can fill up one. both these guys. Then. Yeah. Look at. There's not. Look, all these leaves were here yesterday, by That's the way. That's telling, by tomorrow, nice. these will be gone. Yeah. Because there was twice as many as this yesterday. And these leaves up here, yeah. they were, these these all had leaves on them yesterday. Yeah, they did. So you're saying, so so they're only here for a couple of days, then they'll, we don't know if they crawl down or fall down, right? I, I assume they fall down would be my guess. They just get so big, they just fall off the Yeah, leaf. they get like me, they just roll over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at these, man. Wake up. Look at these dudes. What but are yeah, this, 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 is not, this tree was loaded, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch on these leaves right there. But they got little suctions. Oh, there they go. See that little... Oh, yeah. he spit on them. Oh, oh no, watch out. Man. That's poisonous down <laughs> This poisonous. Not Daryl. <laughs> we need you, Daryl. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I was telling my neighbor, I want you know, they got a tomato worm in these tomatoes. Uh-huh. I bet you can deep fat fry them things be like fried green tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Badge, I'm gonna grab one. You ready for this? Grab him. Oh grab my him. god, he's got like a horn on the back of him. Yeah, I think that's like a false stinger. Oh, he's trying to spit on me. Come here. Oh, oh he spit! He spit up in the air. Did you see that? Yeah, it was intense. Oh, shoot. That's his defense mechanism. And I've never got that shit in my eye, but I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it burned. You can have Badge put some in his eye and let him know. <laughs> Probably defense mechanism. Daryl just makes me the automatic test dummy for everything. Oh, you spit on me, Badge. Look <laughs> oh, at him. Man. He spit tobacco juice all over me. Oh. That little sucker. Well, now you're coming with me, boy. Well, it makes sense for it to be that color because they're just full of leaves. True. Man, I could well, take then, one. Well, that is their natural camo, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. see how these are blacker than that one yeah. I just showed you on the other tree? Yeah, the other one was more white. Oh, I got one. Yeah, get in there, boy. Yeah, get him. 
Come here, boy. Well, Get that looks like Lo Joe spit tobacco juice. You ought to be used to that. Yeah. Spit on you. Yeah, he always spits right in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, spits out the your tobacco juice. Yeah. Sneezes on me. Oh, dude, they let they let go. If you put this on their face and move their leaf, look at they just I'll let go. Game. That's what? crazy. I just figured something out. Sure look, they literally just let. They let go. Look. Oh, they're trained. Lojo <laughs> has trained these worms. They're surface worms. Just like that. <clears throat> Train oh these. God. Look at those little guys in there. That is amazing. They can listen. Lojo, the Catawba Whisper. <laughs> well, I guess what we what we should do here, we're gonna get as many of these as we can because the gentleman that lives here, you know, I don't think he has a use for them. I think he, he does freeze some and use them as bait too, but what we'll do is we'll we'll get as many of these as we can. We'll relocate some to the trees on my property because they don't produce these worms for whatever reason. Maybe if we put these here, maybe they'll, you know, I don't know if they'll regenerate every year. Maybe they'll be around. I, we don't know enough about these things and what they do. Dude, he's trying to climb out already. My I've guy right there. people tell me when they get Catawba trees that they go get worms, transplant them on their trees, uh -huh. and supposedly they go to the ground and make a cocoon or whatever they morph into. And that's how they get worms started on their trees. This is the best technique ever. It is. You don't even have to touch them. No. <laughs> but I just found out, be careful, because it will fall on your ass. Yeah, they'll fall on your face and just yeah. spit all over your face. Those little rascals. But you don't see, you'll see these wasps. There's wasps flying around? Yeah, I have seen those. And, uh, What's the deal with those guys? Then wasps actually lay eggs in them. In the worm? In the worm. Oh my God. And then they hatch and they feed off that worm. That's how one of Mother Nature's control. They don't, yeah. otherwise they'd strip all the leaves right, and kill yeah. their. All, all these trees would be dead. Some real life alien. <laughs> yeah, that's some crazy stuff right there, yeah. man. The life of a catapa worm. Yeah, that's not great. You get to eat as much as you want for three days and you're going to either die or fall off the tree because you're so hey, big. Here. See how he's hanging? Yeah. I bet you he's fixing to fall he's off. About to fall. Yeah. He's about to fall Probably and so. morph into cocoon. I bet he's fixing to spin his little yarn. See, he don't turn loose. He's oh, fixing. I right. wonder if they make a cocoon right there on the spot. They might. And then fall off in, in their cocoon? Well, they probably turn into some sort of butterfly or something. Yeah, well, they do. It's a moth. Wow. But this is Gatava shit right here. <laughs> I saw it. See that? <laughs> These little pots. That's a Gatava turd. <laughs> My dudes are eating. <laughs> These guys are eating and pooping, baby, just like that. That's right, <laughs> baby. <laughs> what about you, Charmin? <laughs> oh, God, he's a big and good lord. You he heard about big. the old bear in the woods taking a crap, didn't you? Yeah, and his old, uh, him and their old rabbit. He looks over to the rabbit and he says, Hey, your crap stick to you. Your hair, you take crap in the wood. The rabbit said, No. So he grabbed, bear grabbed the rabbit and wiped his butt with him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look here. See Is this he here? Is he hanging? This is another name the tree gets. That's a seed pod. They call them the bean tree or the cigar tree. Ah. But so that's how you can tell. These yeah. are dry up in the summer. They'll turn brown with all the leaves are and they'll fall and yeah. you'll see little catalpa, catalpa trees yeah. growing up. Cool. But that's the seed pod right there. Yeah. Looks like cool. a huge green bean. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It looks like a exactly green bean on steroids. Like. Yeah. Let go, you bastard. Oh. See all them turds fall off there? <laughs> I got these hobba turds down, uh, down my neck. Oh, no. You go, load you grab mine and you shake these. There's half a dozen. Ah! Right here. <laughs> they're so sticky. Dude. Why are you so they're, scared, dude? I don't know. They just—they look like they're—they bite the fire out of it. They I know do. They, I know they—they—they they, they do. No, they look like it. Yeah, they look like uh, they would, but I, yeah. I don't think they can. But they're just they falling like they everywhere can. down there. <laughs> pick one up, man. Come on. The people at home want to see you pick one up. And put I it will. In I'm tired of seeing you squeal. Well, go ahead, man. We got three on the ground for you. Uh -huh. Let's see if he spits on you. Oh, he spit, man. <laughs> oh, he spit. He spit. He's rolling over. Got him. And them right there, suction cups they have. Them suction cups, they could dang sure stick now. It's like they turn like they're gonna bite you, but all I do is- Yeah, they roll them. over. Yeah. And I guess that's their, another one of their mechanisms, they scare the shit out of you. <laughs> they do. They grab a hold of you, they suction to you, and then they, they turn their head around like they're gonna bite you, but they yeah. can't. Yeah. Daryl was talking about this little fake horn on the back. Yeah. It looks like um, they got this little horn on the back right there. Oh, snap. It's like a fake stinger, though. It's not real. Like, it doesn't do anything. It's just to intimidate. 
Like that dog's bark. But if you told somebody <laughs> it was real, they damn sure leave them alone. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you told a kid that their spit was poisonous and they had a horn on the back, I'm pretty sure nobody would touch these things ever. No. Look how quickly they're trying to climb out, too. Like, they can freaking climb. Tell your wife that as you bring them and sit them on the kitchen table. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see that stinger right there, honey? That thing will hurt you. <laughs> Hold him out of my fucking shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I got green sh running down my kitties. <laughs> These jokers turn on you like they're trying to bite you. It's the craziest thing. They literally, they're just like, but they just can't do anything. There's no defense mechanism whatsoever. God's like, here you go, you can spit stuff at people. They're just like, what? Yeah. That's it? That's all we can do? We'll give you a fake stinger and a fake. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But there's wasps that are constantly trying to kill you and put lay, lay their eggs inside of you. Like, what the freak? Yeah, but we literally can't defend ourselves. That's their Taliban, them wolves. <laughs> he don't waste none of his property. He really... Yeah, I see that. This is your typical old farmer here. Don't yeah. throw nothing away. Right. <laughs> All right, so this is the Katump, Katunk, Katunk, Katunk. Now I don't know how to say it. This is the tree on my property right here. So you can see the leaves, very similar looking leaves than the ones we just pulled these guys off of. So. I'm gonna release some. Obviously, we're gonna keep some. Do you look at all the poop they've pooped in this thing right here? Oh. Look at this is all poop. Look at this. Look at that. Sheesh. Look, they're super stressed out. They've just been pooping their little hearts out. Heck yeah. So let's put some. Oh, he fell right off. Rip. <laughs> I'm gonna release a few onto my Katomka plant. And let's just hope that these guys, I, we, I don't know, we just don't know enough about, oh man, there's like 15 of them right there, but they're right there. They'll figure it out. <laughs> let's hope that they take, you know, and they can stay here and maybe there'll be some next year. So is it like the same time of year every year, Daryl, like summertime? Well, they'll start, yeah, summertime. Yeah, because these will lose their leaves in the winter and they put their leaves on late. It'll be late May and then July, and then you might get another batch around September. But after that, these trees won't put on any more leaves. Oh! Yeah, you, you've uh, implanted. Artificial insemination right there. <laughs> That's right. Oh, he grabbed on, he was falling and he grabbed. They're probably so confused like right now. They're like, dude, this is not the same tree that we were born on. He's like, let me try a little bit. Oh, dude, there's a... One of the, uh, that's not the same wasp, but one just landed on that one and bit it, and he like rolled off the plant. Look, he's, he's on that one right now. It's a yellow jacket. Yeah, and he's, he's biting that one. That one's, that one's turned around trying to spit on him. That's a really crazy. yellow jacket? Yeah. yeah. Oh, a, li a little one. Got well, if there's a little one there, that means there's a nest right here. Damn yellow jacket, do you anything? Watch out. Okay, well, we relocated about like 20 or 30 just then, and we'll see what happens, but um, now we need to take the rest of the ones that we have in Daryl's little cricket bucket, Need to see how our backyard pond fish respond to these guys. I have a feeling that they're gonna get eaten pretty quick. Well, we've got, we've still got a hundred freaking guitar worms over here in Daryl's bucket. So what we're gonna do, we got a little simple jug, float, whatever you wanna call this. You got your little pool float, PVC pipe, a little bit of line, small little circle drop shot hook, hook right there. Now these things float, right, Daryl? They float, yeah, right? They we, float. we found that out yesterday yeah. off camera, but. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get one of these big jokers. Come here, you rascal. There's one right there. Don't you try to bite me, you little bastard. I got him by the nap of his neck. Look at him. He's trying to poke me with that fake thorn. You son of a gun. That's not a real thorn, and I know it. He tried to, it's like limp. It doesn't do anything. Look at that. It Man, doesn't saying, do anything. Damn the internet. <laughs> it's like, how do y'all know that my, my, how do y'all know my thorn's not real? Shabla! right through his back. Let's see if I can thread him a little bit on there. So I don't want a catfish to be able to steal him. Oh my God, his mm -hmm. guts just flew out. There it is. Oh man, I'm so sorry, man, but we have to do this. It's for research purposes. Look at him, he's trying to bite the hook. Look at all that stuff coming out of him, dude. Dude, catfish are gonna love him. Oh my God, he's so stinky. I can see why people freeze these guys. Yeah, and you freeze them in cornmeal, uh -huh. but they don't stick together. Nice. Oh, nice. We got them on there pretty good. All right, little Catawba worm. Time for us to figure out uh, how good he is. Uh, oh, I see the wind's kind of blowing what, that way? Yeah. So we're just going to kind of send him out. We're going to, oh, he just spit all over me. Come on, daddy. Succubus. Dang. <laughs> you always say that <laughs> like it was some kind of a great throw. <laughs> okay, we're going to let him sit. Now, 
In the meantime, we're going to strap on a GoPro, grab a couple of these ultralight combos and just kind of start flipping them around here because we know we've got a ton of big brim. There's also big catfish to hang out here and there are bass. So I'm interested to see how the rest of the pond are going to react to these on like a rod and reel. Well, uh, the one that Bad's rigged up, the Alabama noodle, is completely gone. Let's just hope that it resurfaces at some point in time. Oh, oh wait, there it is over there. It just resurfaced yeah, right by the back feeder. To the snag, baby. Yeah, he's I will be shocked if we can land this fish. Can you think they can see it from here, Badge? <laughs> you need one of them speedy Alabama running backs to catch that one. Yeah. Hey, look at that swirl away over the left. Look. Well, I think it's safe to say they like these freaking Catawba worms or whatever. Man, he is on there. Before we go chase him down, I got to know if we can catch something else on a rod and reel. I wonder though if that's got them all spooked now, you know? You know how the catfish are around here. They freaking, uh, oh, he tried to spine me. <laughs> Good job, Badge. You freaking did that thing. Yeah. I need, uh, you know what I need is my dang. I need some scissors or something to cut a piece of this guy off. Suit! Okay. Oh, know. man, he is just, he is just squiggling. Oh, boy. Okay, little piece of Gatavi. Oh, God, his head. His, either he just pooped on me or his head fell off. I'm not sure which end that is of the fish. Uh, it's definitely butthole. Yeah, for real? Yeah, it had the little horn on there. Oh, so he just pooped on me. Oh, my dude pooped right away on me. <laughs> okay, so we, we got a fish, I mean, just running and gunning that way. I haven't seen much action on that jug. The guy who went back in the cove. I don't see him, Badge. Let's go get this guy, see what we got. I hope there's a wasp nest underneath this, this boat now. Here, let's do it on three. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go, baby. Oh, God, something touched my foot. I thought it was. Oh, forgot to put my motor down. Forgot to trim her down. Damn it. Woo, this battery is full speed, Daryl. I love this little boat. This battery is fully charged, man. It's got some power on it now. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Full speed. Oh, yeah, we're moving. Oh, my God, there he goes. He's going around the, the corner. Jeez, he's going to go as far away as he possibly can. All right, here we go. Getting closer. All right, he stopped swimming. I don't know if he's tired or if he's off. God, I hope he's not off. That would be a damn shame. He's not moving. Oh, yeah, he's on there. Let's slow down a little bit. Oh my God. He's right there. We're gonna float right into him, I think. To be quiet. I think we're gonna float right into him. Badge thinks it might be a good one. Oh, there he goes, son of a gun. Oh no. Oh, Jesus. Oh God. Ah. Got him. He's still on there. Oh God, I don't wanna break the line. I don't wanna break the line. Ah! Got him. Oh, the Catawba worm, baby. It's still hanging out of his stinking little mouth. Yes. Look at that little sucker right there. Look at him, look at that Catawba worm in his face. Wow. Ah. All right, let's take him back to Daryl. Daryl's gonna cook some of these up a little bit later today. Ha ha. The poisonous worms strike again. I cannot believe that jug has not been touched. I wonder, we were just talking, got this little split shot weight on there. I wonder if that makes a difference, you know, getting it further down the water column. You know, catfish are kind of bottom feeders anyways, so that could be possible. What do you think about that, Badge? Dang, boy. Wow, that was the most unexcited reaction I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, it was running and I thought it was a lot bigger. It turns out it's kind of a squeaker. It's kind of a squeaker. Oh, God. Dang. It's kind of a squeaker, but more importantly, the gosh darn Gatava worm. Oh, he bit the snot out of me. <laughs> Look at that Gatava worm in his mouth right there. Look at that. That is. You gotta freaking love it. That is it's, pretty cool. It's just, yeah, I mean, it's cool. We plucked this off of a freaking tree, and then two minutes later, we put it on a, a the cheap jug setup. I'm like, anybody could do this right here. <laughs> Empty water bottle, little circle hook, and a freaking split shot weight. And there you go, right there, baby. Let's freaking go. The other one just hasn't even been touched. The other freaking jug. Oh, now, yeah. now it's over there now. Daryl, you want is this good filleting size for you? 
All right, down to the swamp we go. Good God, you think this is a spider tree? I hope. I don't know, but don't step in it. <laughs> the heck? Well, I just I don't want to blast through it because I feel like that's what got spiders all over us last time. Oh shit! Oh, hit the gas, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not spiders. I think they're like little bugs, but they're not spiders. Ow! Good. See, look, it's those things right there. So they're not spiders. They're just like little probably Gustavo bugs. <laughs> Oh, shoot. all right. Let's get our little catfish out of here because he's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh my God, he's got line wrapped around him. Get out of here, bastard! He swam right off. Yeah. Catfish are so freaking tough, dude. They'll just sit there out of water. You put them in water, and they boop, take right off. All right. Now, while we're down here, we still got a little Gustavo bug. Got a little bug set up here, and mm. we know. Here's the thing. We know there's a ton of brim. Actually, some big ones down here, too. Gee, this is a huge worm right here. This is going to be tough to catch them in this situation. No, that's it. Going to catch the biggest freaking bug. Or the biggest freaking Probably going to get snake bit by the biggest snake, too. Oh, my God. I got hit right away. I swear this swamp is just infested with good-sized freaking fish. It's insane. Of course, we've stocked quite a few. You guys have seen. And it's rained a lot recently, too. Oh, God. I just got hit. Oh, I got him, bitch. I got him. Dude, a tiny one on the giant Gestapo worm. Oh boy, I'm stuck. Oh, I slung him. Good God. Yes, got you. I caught you slipping. Look, he's got a mouthful. Look at my guy. Dang. He was just packing it in. <laughs> like freaking Red Man on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> oh. Just packing it in. This is a little hybrid, hybrid bluegill right there. Hybrid brim. Green sunfish mixture, squalafel. Come on, man, let me get in there. Want to get out there? Yeah, give me, here we go. Give me Man, you're 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 lucky because I didn't, I haven't even flipped like into the good to, to the juice yeah, yet. I want to get the big one. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, overhand casting. Oh man, my guy's super brave. There it is. Oh shoot! <laughs> it was low key a dime. It was. It actually ended landed in a pretty good spot. <laughs> you thought it was gone forever. Yeah, I did. I'm not gonna lie to you. The badge. You got him. Oh, oh, oh you're God. on. I didn't think you. Oh, I didn't think you had him. Yeah, bitch, don't you set the hook. <laughs> well, it, it looked weird. All right, new worm, same badge. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> see, I think he's. Yeah, he was running. I think he might have it. Man. That's so weird, man. He took the whole worm. Wowzers! Yes. Let's freaking go. Well, this is slowly just losing momentum. We can just wrap the video. <laughs> well. These worms were definitely cool, man. I feel like we got kind of a like a, a lesson today. Oh, I just broke Daryl's freaking trap. <laughs> Son of a gun. Look, man, before you mess up big time, pull that white piece out. Oh! That's what I was trying to do. I don't know if it's supposed to come out. I'm, I could have messed Shall up. Shall I go? Get out! All of you get out of Daryl's beautiful trap. You don't deserve to be in there. Well, some of them are sinking. Look, some of them are floating and some of them are sinking. That's weird. That is weird. Kind of hope we get like a feeding frenzy going on over here or something. Yeah, I don't know if this was supposed to come out, Badge. Other way, other way. God, kind of got some things going on here. We always okay. find a way to make it fit. Oh, I love it. All right, got. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little educational video that we did today. Uh, please get in the comments section, give us some pronunciation tips because I know for a fact we were saying it wrong the whole time, but hey, I'd never heard of this worm before yesterday. Daryl went and took me and showed me this plant. And I was like, yes, let's go fishing with these worms. And uh, hey, we caught brim, caught catfish. Wow, is that one getting eight right there? I don't know. We got a couple jugs still out. One of them's already got a fish on it. This one's kind of looks like it's getting squig. Oh, the stick's over there now. We did, we did a stick jug too. We, got, so we potentially have three fish on jugs right now, but we're not gonna show them. That's just part of our ongoing effort to get catfish out of this pond. A lot of them we eat, a lot of them we relocate to the swamp like we did the one earlier. So yeah, we're gonna continue with those efforts to try to save the pond, but this was just kind of a fun like nature experience. I mean, how often do you get to see worms and like, or caterpillars like this in nature that only show up for a few days out of the year and then there's such good fish bait. So all in all, it was a lot of fun. Big shout out to Daryl. If you guys want to see more Daryl on the channel, of course, smash the thumbs up button, get in that comment section, and uh, let us know how to say Catava worm or how, how is it actually spelled or something. I don't know. We're going to go check these jugs. I forgot to mention in the intro, this is like your farewell tour to the channel. Is it? I mean, you're quitting on us soon, so. Quitting? I mean, that's rough. <laughs> so guys, go check out old AO Fishing. Uh, this is his farewell tour over the next few weeks. 
So uh, yeah, nothing more to say guys. I love you. Thank you for watching. We out of here.